everybody, my name is Matt Philly, and this is episode number 13 of Pin My Setup. If you want to submit your setup, then head on over to PinMySetup.com. Before we begin, here's a quick word from today's sponsor. Have you ever wanted to have the whole world in the palm of your hand? Well, now you can, kind of. <laughs> These are Mova Globes. See how they're rotating? There are no batteries or cords required. Instead, they are powered by light and the Earth's magnetic field. Seriously, this is a first of its kind technology and it's available in three different sizes, four and a half inch, six inch, and eight and a half inch, as well as over 40 designs, including world maps, outer space, and famous artworks. These would look great in any setup and also make for a great gift. You can get 20% off all six inch and eight and a half inch MOVA globes, plus site-wide free shipping with code BFCM2020. All right, let's get into the first setup of the day submitted by Dylan. He's 13 years old and uses his setup for gaming and school. This setup is pretty even across the board for me. There's nothing that makes me say, holy crap, this is terrible. And there's nothing that really makes me say, wow, this is amazing. So yeah, kind of like sevens across the board for the most part. Uh, wire management, you know, pretty simple fixes there. Out of sight, out of mind, you kind of take some things away. Usability, that kind of goes in with out of sight, out of mind. So taking away makes it a little more usable, maybe more accessories. Uh, but the personality is pretty decent, but again, little things can actually improve that score dramatically. So for me personally, I think this setup isn't bad, but you have a lot of work to do to really get it to like an 80 or 90. Dylan scored a seven, 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 and eight, making his final score a 72. Next a setup is submitted by Bence. He's 27 years old and uses his setup for gaming and photo editing. I always tell people, turn your monitors on and make sure you have a cool wallpaper set because that will drastically improve the first impressions of your setup photos. And here he has like this autumn fall vibe going on. It matches his PC. It kind of goes with the wood finish, makes it feel homey, and it's just a nice look. Now with that said, it's not a perfect setup, but it is a pretty cool one. I like that the TV slides and rotates. That way you can utilize it in your bed or at your setup. Things like the controller though, uh, you know, having a place for that would be nice. Having a headphone hook. These are just little nitpick things that I would change. The speakers are pretty weird because I'm only seeing one on the desk and it seems like it's set for the TV, but then in one of the other photos, it's gone. So I don't know how that works, but uh, you know, speakers would be nice for this setup. Your wire management also seems to be pretty good from what we can see. Uh, even coming out of the TV, you seem to have a wrap down towards the bottom, but if you were to kind of close that up the whole way, it would look nice, but that's just, again, a, a little thing. I, I think overall the setup is pretty badass. Ben scored an eight, 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 seven, and eight, making his final score a 78. Next setup is submitted by Yudho. He's 26 years old and uses his setup for work, design, and gaming. We've seen Yudho on this channel before, and man, his back wall always impresses me. His last iteration was pretty cool, but this one definitely takes the cake. I like that it looks good at night with the colored LEDs, but during the daytime with just some white light, it looks super good. So great job there. This setup is super minimalistic. The usability is great. The accessories are awesome. It's just got a cool vibe. It seems futuristic. Um, I, I like it. And again, the wire management, this is so hard to do. I mean, I can't even imagine the amount of time that he put in to making this work. And I would not want to be him if one of his display cables stopped working. <laughs> The microphone worries me a little bit. Uh, maybe it's a condenser. I'm not looking too closely at it, but if it is, I guess it's not a big deal. But, um, you know, I really like when my mic is up in front of me and it seems like you're at the full length of the arm. I'm definitely going to trigger some people here with this final comment, but I don't think the personality is a 10. And the reason I say that is because the theme is a 10 for sure. Personality, not a 10. If you look at the left wall, the right wall underneath, or even just on the desk itself, there's nothing there. It really dies. So yeah, the back wall is pretty cool. Um, I like the lights and stuff, but that's about it. So yes, across the board, amazing setup and still the score doesn't matter, but personality, I'd like to see a little bit more there. Yudho scored a 10, 10, 9, 9, and 8, making his final score a 92. Next setup is submitted by Elon. He's 15 years old and uses his setup for gaming and graphic design. This setup reminds me of the first one, except it's like the before and after weight loss thing. You know, the, the before was the first setup and this is the after, after doing all the cleaning and kind of condensing, so on and so forth. Great job on the wire management, uh, super good with the usability. I like the speakers being mounted. 
Um, again, with the microphone here, it doesn't matter as much because it's a condenser and, and it's a snowball, but uh, pretty straightforward, not a bad setup at all. Definitely could use a little bit more in the personality category, um, but at night, this thing looks pretty badass, man. Elon scored a nine, eight, 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 and seven, making his final score an 80. The final setup of the day is submitted by Christian. He's 15 years old and uses his setup for gaming and designing. This setup was definitely hard for me to score only because at first glance, you're like, yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. I like it. And then you see the LEDs on the desk and you're like, yeah, this looks really, really cool. But then you look closely and you start to realize things that don't work. For instance, the monitors look great. You know, usability is really good. But then you look to the left of them and you see he's got a single speaker and that's it. I don't, I don't see another speaker, so I don't know what's going on there. He's got this long empty desk and he shoves his PlayStation, one speaker and a plant in that corner, which again, kind of weird. I can understand the PlayStation being there because it kind of covers up the cord a little, but uh, let's not put everything into one corner. The right side, it's a little more simplistic than I would like, but you know what? If that's what's powering the setup, then by all means, he needs a little space for his laptop. You have a cool stand for your controller, so why not get a cool docking station for your laptop? Kind of make that spot look a little more badass. Underneath, he's got the subwoofer for his single speaker on the leg of the desk, which why? I, just put it on the floor, you know? <laughs> the wire management isn't terrible. You know, it could be more neat, but who cares? What I'm really worried about is where those freaking wires are even going to. Like, yes, they're powering your single speaker subwoofer, your PlayStation, but they're not powering the monitors. I mean, the monitors are off and nothing's plugged into the laptop. So you're kind of hiding what your wire management would really look like once you start running these cables to the actual displays and the laptop. And that's why I always recommend put the monitors on because then I know things are plugged in. So to recap, having two easy boxes isn't great for your personality. Having a single speaker isn't great for your accessory score and not plugging in the monitors to your laptop makes me a little curious about your wire management. Christian scored an eight, seven, six, seven, and five, making his final score a 66. Taking a look at the scoreboard, today's winner is Yudho with a score of 92, and in last place is Christian with a 66. That's it for this episode of Pin My Setup. Be sure to give this video a like, and if you want your setup to be featured, then head on over to Pin My Setup. Dot com. With that said, thanks for watching.